Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of embedding a video into your website using HTML. So I have a sample website here. So we're going to go ahead and walk through how to do this without any knowledge of HTML. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to build the code and then explain the code with ChatGPT. So I asked it to create an HTML5 uh, code or basically just help me make a video for it. And instead of going through the script, which I'm ignoring, I said write a code for a website with several different samples and styles. Now I received this code. However, it did not include sample videos. It just included different styles for a website. Now, I said add videos using several different methods. Now, a couple of things to note is one or two of the options here will or won't work for you. And what I mean by that is it depends on where your video is. So you'll notice that some of these are basically saying we're referencing a specific video, which may need to be put or hosted on your website. There may be options to also host it through YouTube, for example, and then just render that in a player. So what I did is I said, make the video links from YouTube and I received that code. And then I just noted an issue that I had. However, that issue was just because I was trying to render a video that I had just published. So it just wasn't live long enough. Now let's go ahead and take the code that I was provided and break it down. So you'll see first things first, we're going to take the code and start from scratch. So I've pasted this code in and we're gonna go ahead and click save and refresh our site just to show that the links are no longer valid. So we're going to break down the code very, very quickly. And I do have other videos, which I will link in the description. So we will make this quick. Now I've covered this first portion in other videos and there's not much to it. It will be pretty much like a default for many of your websites, unless you're trying to get them really, really custom. Now you'll notice in this style tag that we have a global style that's been applied. And that's primarily because you're going to notice that the website looks similar for um, the different sections, so to speak. For example, sample one, sample two, sample three are links that go to different parts of the page. Now I've showed this in different videos, but I wanna show it here as well. So if we right click and go to inspect, you have the option to click this button right here in DevTools, or you'll find it depending on the browser you're in, which allows you to select elements. And when you're doing this, you can see the code over here. Now, this may look familiar if we expand the header here. This will look very similar to the header options that we have already seen. Same thing with the section IDs and all of the details. You'll see that in here as well. So the basic point here is you'll see that the global styles were establishing our font family, our header background, background color for navigation, uh, setting up things for the section like the padding and things of that nature. So you can work with this as much as you feel you need to. For example, we'll look at changing something like this. It's 360. Let's just make it 800. And then we will click save just to see what happens when we refresh our page. Now you'll see that this window is incredibly lengthy and so are the remaining ones because it's a global style for that iframe. So we're establishing a much higher height. Now let's go through the actual videos themselves. So you're typically gonna have a couple of methods for adding in your videos. Now for this, we have a header, but then we also have our navigation menu for our sample items, which we were just looking at. So you'll see we have sample one, sample two, sample three. So basically what we've established here is a navigation bar and then when we click on an item, it takes you to that relevant item. So it's basically saying, here's the navigation bar, and then you'll see all of the details for the actual styling and elements. And then you're gonna see what each section actually takes you to. So in this case, we have a section ID here, and we're going to update these videos because you'll see there's not actually a actual video here, it's just a sample link. So I'm going to a video that I have on automating Excel tasks without knowing code. We're going to copy the embed code and we're gonna go back over here and we're just gonna drop this in where it says source and paste. Now, when we click save, we can go here, refresh the page and you'll see now that video is loading. And when we click hey, it, everybody. we can actually play that video here. 
Now, there is another option if you're interested. So I'm going to go to codelessfix.com, which is my website with quite a few different resources on codeless app development. And we can actually right click and click inspect. Now, you'll notice when we click on this, we actually have this option here, which is the HTML for this video. So you'll see that we have the width and the autoplay selected, but we also have the source specified. So in this case, I have this video hosted on my website and then I'm playing it here. So it's not pulling it from, for example, YouTube. It's pulling it from its actual link in where you could access that video. So for example, if I decided that I wanted to find this video, I can actually copy the video here and paste it up top. And then the idea is you can download it. So that's where the video is located. Many websites will offer something similar. So you're basically just accessing the asset from that page. So we're going to go to this website. You'll see again, we have tons of different options for how to actually embed our video. So it doesn't always work. For example, if we were to test this out, it doesn't always work the exact same way. You'll see it's actually downloading and acting as if I'm trying to access that video right away. So you'll see there are certain ways that you actually have to implement it. You can't just drop in the direct link to a file. You have to specify it using the correct method in HTML. And that is where this code specifically comes from. You'll see that we have the video controls and basically the entire tag or HTML bit of code. And you can actually find that and figure out you know, how exactly you wanna manage that. So an example, I usually try to reference w3schools.com. They have some pretty cool tutorials and things of that nature, but you'll see that we have this video element here, and you'll see that if you wanted to try it yourself, we're specifying the controls, but we're also specifying the source. So you'll see the idea here is we're specifying the actual video file. So you'll see that when we have the source, it allows you to specify video files which the browser may choose from. So the idea here is you're specifying the file and format. So you have the ability to upload that specific video to your website, and then you can actually reference it so that it could then be played within that page, similar to the controls that are set up here. So if you wanna host that yourself, you can look up more videos on how to do that specifically with the raw video file and uploading it. However, I think a lot of people prefer to go the route of hosting it on YouTube and controlling it that way. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.